What it do, Wrestling World? It's your boy, Mr. Steal Your Dibs, coming at you with some wrestling minutes. Let me get right into it. WWE has lost its goddamn mind. Are you freaking serious? Yesterday, there were more releases from the WWE. And the main one that hit me the most was the release of Hit Row. I mean, what can you say? One of the most over factions right now in the WWE. So over, you took them off of NXT and moved them to SmackDown. And they're becoming fan favorites of the crowd. The crowd is cheering for Hit Row. Hall of Famer Edge said this is what wrestling needed. Hit Row. And now they're gone. All four are gone. Be fair with the first one gone. Now we have Adonis, Swerve Scott, and Top Dollar all gone. I, I I don't I don't get that. I don't get it. Someone help me. Why is Hit Row? Why has Hit Row been released from the WWE? Makes no sense to me at all. Um also. Drake Maverick, a fan favorite. They've done nothing with Drake Maverick since his feud with Santos Escobar in, in NXT for the Cruiserweight Championship. Drake Maverick is a talent. Is a talent. There's a lot they could have done with him. Company guy, he did what they asked him to do. He, he did it, never complained. But he deserves way more respect than that. John Morrison... What they did to John Morrison since they brought him back to me was a slap in his face. We're talking about a world champion in other organizations. Triple A, Impact for sure. And all he did when he came back to the WWE was be Miz, right-hand man, the sidekick. And then they break them up and then he's a jobber to any and everybody. Um, Tegan Knox never got her chance to shine due to injuries. Due to injuries, she gets called up. She teams. She's, a, she's in a team with Shotzi. That didn't even last a month. And I think that would have been a great team. Also, um, Jackson Ryder and Slapjack were released. The question I have now is why have they had? The WWE, why have they had so many budget budget cuts? Apparently, budget cuts. That's what it's called. The releases due to budget cuts, which is a god darn lie because they had they made a record profit last year. So what is the reason due to these releases? Could it be due to the mandate vaccine? I don't know. I don't want to say that is the answer, but look how many people have been released. So many. There's more to this. Something, something eternally is going on. But with that being said, with that being said, WWE is showing right now that they have no respect for their employees. Zero. Zero respect. All these releases for what? For what? Zero respect. Now, for those in the indie scene, those wrestlers on the indie scene that wants to go to a WWE, New Japan Pro Wrestling, Impact, AEW, you might want to think twice before going to WWE now. Because this could happen to you. And you know you don't want that happening to you. Most of these wrestlers are going to say they want to go to WWE. Yes, that's the number one promotion in the world. Organization. Number one wrestling organization in the world. We know that. But you might want to think twice. Because you don't want to be WWE for a little while. Get called up and then up your release. Or you get there. You're there for three months. NXT. Or you get released. I don't think you want that. So think twice now about wanting to go 
to the WWE. You got AEW, New Japan Pro Wrestling. Think about that. Because right now, we're not seeing many releases from those companies at all. Right now, WWE, to me, that's just blasphemy with what they're doing. And I will also say this. Independent circuit, y'all need to hop on these guys immediately. Book them for your shows. Hit Row, Tegan Knox, Drake, John Morrison. Book them for your shows. It's going to make your show sell out when you get these stars. I promise you. WWE needs to do better in the way they treat their employees. Because this right here is a goddamn shame on what they're doing to them. I'm Mr. Steal Your Dibs. Until next time, peace.